Welcome back to another Redbeard Outdoors episode and welcome to the ultimate deck boat build. Last night I went and picked up my trailer and uh, it's all fixed up now. Let's take a look at it. Guys, the boat trailer's back and we got everything fixed on it and it's ready to go. So eventually I need to jack up the boat even higher, roll the trailer in underneath pull the blocks out and set the boat back down on the trailer. And I gotta be really careful when doing that not to break those carpeted two by fours down there, or uh, that's gonna be another expensive fix. I don't wanna have to mess with that. But anyways, let's take a look at the trailer. Okay, so today we're gonna put the boat back on the trailer. This is gonna be a huge project. I originally thought maybe I'll just jack the boat up some more, put some more blocks under it and try to slide the trailer in underneath. But I came up with another idea and I'm not gonna go through that right now. I'm just gonna show you guys what I came up with and kind of explain it along the way. So hopefully this works. The goal is not to break any of the, the boards on the boat. Um, I think I can make it happen. So I think this way will work uh, better than lifting the boat up. So uh, let's get right into it. I need to clean off the boat, move some stuff and get this boat up on the trailer. Let's get going. Hey guys, I got this up as high as possible, but it's still not high enough. So, looks like I'm gonna have to end up jacking the front end of this boat up. And I think I'm gonna use a car jack for that. So, let me start thinking about how I'm gonna do this and uh, get the jack under there and start seeing what happens. Thank you. 
Okay guys, boat's on the trailer. That went way smoother than I thought it would or what I ever could have predicted. Um, once we got under there, we got the jack, we lifted it up, started using the boat crank and we just slid it right up the boat and um, lifted up with the jack and the jack rolled with it and it rolled right onto the boat trailer. So it worked great. Um, Let's do a quick walk around and I'll show you. Okay, next up, I need to secure the wall to the boat. And then after that, I'm going to prep the boat to take it out on the water. And when I take it out on the water, it's going to be a test. I might do just a little bit of fishing, but I'm going to test the balance. Uh, how well it is, how sturdy it is, how everything's working, check the motor, stuff like that. So if you guys are wondering why I'm putting on the water right now when I still have a lot of projects to do, the deck is fishable right now. And um, before I do all the electrical and all that stuff, uh, I really wanna test it out and make sure it works. Um, I'm fairly confident it's going to work. It's just uh, good to do these kind of tests before you uh, Put all this extra work into the rest of the projects so that's why i'm going to take it out on the water anyways let's get started on the wall okay guys first i'm going to line up the wall with the decking right here kind of give it a nice curved edge right here and then i'm going to get to uh securing it to the boat Next up, I'm going to install my front fish finder, and then I think I'm pretty much done. All right guys, front Garmin's on. Driver Garmin's always been on, never took that off. Uh, front Garmin's working. I got the uh, step and wall pretty secured. It ain't moving. And um, she's ready for her test run. Now all I need to do is get ready. Um, it, it's kind of hot out, so I'm gonna put some shorts on. It's like the first time I've done that this year. So um, I also need to put a little bit more sun protective clothing on because I've been in hibernation and quarantine and I don't want to get sunburned too bad. So um, I'm going to do that and eat, and then we will hit the water this afternoon. So, first thoughts on the deck. It's a little wobbly, but it's really, it's not that bad. Um, maybe just something you gotta get used to a little bit, but it's really not that bad. Um, 
the comfort of the pedal. I'm really enjoying that. I know it's only been a couple minutes, but really enjoying that. It's not as bad as it was. my trolling motor guys. So it was somewhat of a successful trip and a failure. Um, the trolling motor plug came loose, so I need to take that apart and work on it again. Um, I know what it is, I can't get it to lock into place. Um, the plug is like so far back up in here, it's hard to reach with everything installed. So that makes things a little bit difficult um, when it comes to that. So I might come up with a different method for that. But as far as uh, stability, it was it was stable and it wasn't that bad. Um, I mean, it's not as good as it was when it was lower, but it's really like, I'm not complaining. It's not that bad. Um, the recessed pedal, all the world difference. That thing was awesome. Uh, made it more comfortable uh, for the little bit of use that I did get out of it. And it was good to uh, get the motor running and make sure that that was working. I'm having hydraulic issues, so uh, having a hard time turning and raising and lowering the motor. I'm gonna have to get that worked on. Uh, that motor's so old and always such a project, but you know, it is what it is when you own a boat. So all my garments worked well, the trailer worked well, new truck towed the boat well. Didn't even notice it back then. That's the first time my new truck pulled this boat. Thanks for coming along today, guys. This does not mean that we are done. We still have um, electronics and decking and floor matting, the shock, the hinges, all that stuff. We still have a little ways to go, but it was nice to get out and test and figure out, is my project working? Is it stable? And it was, so everything worked out great today. I'm really happy. But that's gonna do it for me today. If you guys would, please go subscribe down below. And for those of you that are subscribed, thanks for watching. And if you can do me a favor, hit that like button. And I'll see you on the next Redbeard Outdoors episode. Remember, get outdoors and keep fishing. I'll catch you guys later.